Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can use Loopy Pro inside Cubasis. In this particular case, Cubasis 3.4 running inside an iPad Pro M1 chip. Before I continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay. So I just launched Cubasis. As you can see, I don't have any tracks. So let's click on the add button down here and select to add a MIDI track because that is the type of track that I will use to demonstrate how you can integrate Loopy Pro as an audio unit. Let's click here on the instrument. Let's go up the chain, clicking on this arrow here to exit the selection of Microsonic. Let's click on Audio Unit and let's scroll down until we find Loopy Pro Audio Unit. Perfect. Now let's click again on the list of browser here so that we hide that part of the screen. Then we maximize the view, clicking on that particular icon. Now let's go for the um, through the first clip. Let's show the detail screen and let's load uh, from the document picker a loop which we previously created using in this case uh, uh, Bitly Pro. Okay, let's scroll uh, down. Let's go to the playback settings and let's select play stop quantization to none, as we don't want to have any quantization on. We want for that clip to start immediately. And let's, while we're here, load also another loop um, very quickly, like so. Click on import and we do the same uh, uh, changes again. So we just scroll down, go to playback settings and set play stop quantization to none. Okay, so let's click inside the transport control of Cubasis 3.4. And let's, uh, uh, as you can see, um, the play has started. Of course, you don't hear any audience because the clips are not being selected to actually play. Of course, you can do that manually. Let's click on the first clip. Click again to stop and let's test the second one. And click again to stop. Now, it would be nice if we could actually start and stop the clips as um, we wanted controlling directly the start and the stop from Cubasis, well, that's possible. Double click on the track to create a region. Double click again to see the piano roll. Let's scroll until we will see the note C4. Let's click on draw and let's create a C4 note on the first measure. And then the same one on measure number three. Perfect. Let's go back now to uh, Loopy Pro. And um, let's go to the hamburger menu. Let's click now on MIDI Learn. And now let's click on the first clip. It says now that um, it is listening to media. So let's click play on the transport control of Cubasis. Okay, let's stop. As you can see, it has received an event from Cubasis which says C5 on from audio unit media in. Just to notice as well that in Cubasis, in the piano roll, I selected C4, but it has received, received an C5. So um, pay attention to the mapping there. Okay, let's close this. Now let's go back to the beginning. Let's minimize that and let's click play and you will see the first clip that will start when the first note is played and it will also stop when the second note is played in the tr MIDI track inside Cubasis because the notes are used as a MIDI event to toggle play and stop of the first clip inside Loopy Pro. Okay. Okay, so you can see how it works very nicely. And of course you can continue like that. So for example, just a small example, Let's insert another note, C sharp four there, and let's uh, get it to stop at the end of uh, measure four. Let's go back to um, Loopy Pro. Let's expand the screen. This time I'm going to add um, a binding to control um, that particular note to trigger clip number two. So instead of going to listening, to middle learn, to listen for that event, I'm going to go to MIDI control and I'm going to default 
OK. And um, you can see also, um, actually, if you go to current project, you see the CFI uh, notes on which we have created. So I'm going to add it in instead of the profile. I will explain the profile uh, settings in the new video. So let's click here and add new binding. Play and stop. OK. As a target, we choose a specific clip, the second one. Click Save. Click Save again. Now it says that the trigger is not assigned or unassigned. Let's select Audio Unity MIDI in and then select a note. And then we go to C Sharp 5. There it is. Let's click Binding Back. Let's click Save. OK. Let's exit. OK. Now let's minimize that, go back to the beginning and see what happens. So as you can see, we have a first note here, which triggers a first clip inside the Loopy Pro. Then we, when we get to measure three, the same note is sent, which will stop clip number one, but then a C sharp four here is sent to trigger the play on the second clip. And then we get when we get to the end of measure four, the C sharp four note is sent again, which will stop the play of clip number two. And then because we have the loop enabled inside the Cubase, it will start again and the process will again commence or repeat, be repeated. So as you can see, it's straightforward to create uh, um, MIDI events that control uh, clips in Loopy Pro. Of course, you can do other things. You can go back to MIDI control under the current project setting, add uh, different bindings. You can also have the bindings associated to widgets as well inside Loopy Pro. So you can, for example, trigger recording inside, for example, a clip or much more than that, really depending on your needs and requirements. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in the next time. Bye.